Okay, with today's efforts, I've got the K-frame a little bit further along. Got a couple of mounts on there. Got the front one, which I did have on yesterday. Got the side one. Um, steering rack is on. Um, this side gearbox mount. Uh, this is the mirror one here. And the one that actually bolted up to it is the move one. Slightly different bolt hole distances. So I had to use the move one, which is a bit of a challenge. I had to uh, get in... Um, Get in there with the angle grinder because the bolt is rusted underneath, the K-frame is, and the bolt came through, and yes, well, you can see what happened to my um, angle grinder. Um, some of the other things that I'll be doing, I've decided, will be I'll be putting the Syrian hubs on this and doing the 4x100 conversion at the same time. Now this here is the reason why you can't just use Syrian hubs straight on the... I don't know if you can see, the light's really bad. Straight on the uh, L200 shafts. You see that distance? While the spline fits, look at that distance there. There's your, eight, eight, there's your 18 mil or whatever it is difference. And, or even more, if you put the Syrian one on, it's going to bring everything back closer, so it's going to be completely out of whack, and they don't come right through to the front either. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, oh, I did, under here, I'm going to get some rust converter tomorrow, hit that in the few spots that needs it, and over this side, get some red paint, make it look a bit better than what it is and hopefully stop any major rust from happening. We know rust converter is only temporary, but it's not about to go chopping bloody the front chassis or anything like that either. Uh, the other thing is, I am pretty sure that the mirror slash move struts should be pretty much a direct bolt on here, which it completely looks like it is. Maybe just a little bit of bolt hole lengthening or shortening maybe. We'll see how we go. Uh, the other thing I did do is, now you have to excuse this adapter I made from years ago. Um, I put this in years ago not knowing what I was doing. It should be after the turbo, so it's held in there, it's stuck, can't move it, staying there now. But just this little bolt in here I couldn't get him up because all the weld was holding it back so I just ground that back and now that should go in okay and that's the adapter for the TD-04. Um, also got the rest of the other K-frame off which is here and the wheels etc etc and so there's the EFL. Next move will be to get Frankenstein, put that on a board, and put it on the front of here, so I can have two engines side by side, and just transfer everything over. So that's as far as I've got, and that's where I'm heading with. Tomorrow I doubt if I'll be doing anything, because I've got to go to Lismore, and I'll pick up some supplies like rust converter paint, some sandpaper for the Swift, and some other bits and pieces. And I'll probably also look at getting your lower control arms because they are completely different to the L200 ones. They have a bolt on the top. Alright, well that's it for today. Bye!